All right, Ethan, how was the trip? Uh, it was good. It was really good. I mean, second stop, obviously, because, uh, you know, we're in Florida. It's a long trip, so we just wanted to make the most out of it. It didn't disappoint at all. For this being my first time down here, I loved it. I really did. What were some of the things along the way or along the trip that, that kind of stood out to you? Uh, I mean, everyone seems really real. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people will say that about a lot of, a lot of places, a lot of places, a lot of coaches, but, uh, you know, this has been, a the coaches here, they were it, really real with me. You know, I've said about it some places that it felt real. This was, this was real. You know, there wasn't a, there wasn't a single moment where I felt like they were telling me what I wanted to hear. Uh, they were telling me what they, they were telling me what they know is true or what they think I, what they truly think I could be. I really appreciate that. You got to check out Florida State's practice yesterday. What do you uh, see from the offensive line out there? And what do you see from Coach Atkins getting a little bit of a feel for his style? Uh, they move fast. Uh, got to talk to him in a meeting today. They uh, said the main thing they do is run. You know, I'm big. I'm big. I'm not a big fan of running, but <laughs> shoot, that was, uh, I loved it. Uh, obviously, tempo is a big thing for me because uh, even though you'll see that everywhere, it really seems like they get moving, you know? Second a play is over, he's telling his lineman to get set. I really like that. Uh, even after practice, he still got after him. I love seeing stuff like that. And just Co Co Coach Atkins all together. He, is, he seems like a really good coach and an even better man. And I like that because that means he could turn me into a really good man. Did you meet with Coach Norvell today? Uh, yeah, I actually just met him before we left. Uh, he is he's a character. He's a... Uh, he is the first coach to, when we got in there and sat down, his smile went away. And uh, I, love, I love seeing stuff like that because to me, when you, if you smile, that tells me you're about to tell me something I like to hear. But he was the first coach to really sit me down and say, all right, I got three questions for you. And I loved it, you know? He's, uh, as I said, he really felt like he told me what was true. What were those three questions? He, uh, he asked me, I wish I could remember all three. The main ones. Just the general idea. Yeah, the yeah. main ones were like, do I like hard work? Stuff like that, you know? Yeah. And uh, obviously my answer was yes, but it was, they were, three, they were three questions that in that sense I've never heard before. And I love it when I get stuff like that. Um, just after seeing it in person, this is the first time you've been here? Yes, sir. Um, what, what are your impressions of, of FSU and kind of where do they stack up in your recruitment? Uh, haven't really decided to put anyone anywhere yet because I haven't seen everywhere. Yeah. So I like to, I like to get a feel for everyone before I start saying what I like more and what I like less. But this has been an amazing impression. Uh, even because I wasn't supposed to necessarily supposed to be at the practice, but I texted uh, texted a coach. We were in town. They're like, "You want to pull up to the practice?" I was like, "Okay." That alone made me really happy. And uh, overall, I like it here. They had a bunch of legacy guys on, on campus this weekend. What was it like to kind of be around them and, and hear you know, Jermaine Johnson get his thing? And, and what was that kind of experience like for you? I'm really glad you asked about it. Uh, that's really cool. You know, there were a lot of people here I never thought I'd get to see in person, never thought I'd get to ever talk to, whether it be over text or as lucky as I was in person. Speaking of Jermaine Johnson, that I had a conversation with him. That's probably the best conversation I've ever had with someone. He, uh, he really, I don't want to say gave me a new perspective, but he really, he really kind of let me look at it. You know, he was, uh, he told me a lot of everyone's going to tell you what you want to hear, but I've been through it. And he told me what I should really be looking at, what I really need to expect. What did he tell you at Florida State, being a guy who obviously starred here for a year and now is in the NFL? Uh, He's, he was honest. He said, I don't want to say he said there are days, but there's days. And I know that. I know that's a fact. Uh, I wish I could. I really wish I could tell you. It was it was a while ago. If you ask my mom, because now my mom will tell me everything he said every day. But, uh, yeah, it was a, that was a great conversation. When he was up on stage and talking about his experience at Florida State and just kind of his impressions of Mike Norvell throughout his time here, how much did that mean to you as a recruit that's you know, pop, looking at the possibility of joining this program under Norvell? Uh, that meant the world to me because as, a, as an alumni, he's a lot less likely to lie than, say, a coach or a recruiter or even an analyst, anything like that. 
you know, he's gonna, he seems like the kind of person where it doesn't matter what he went through, he'll tell you he went through it. So the fact that he had only good things to say about this program and the coach was, uh, it was really good to me. Do you have any plans to get back here? Uh, we, I was uh, talking with Coach Atkins before we walked out. We, uh, we do want to get me back here. We don't know when that'll be though. Gotcha. What about other visits this spring? Uh, coming up, I know we have Tennessee and Georgia, um, LSU, UNC, probably uh if i had the schedule on me i could just tell you but that's yeah. all i got it's gonna be a busy top stretch. right now yeah are you huh. starting to think about an, a timeline for official visits or anything like that not yet okay. uh, we want to we want to talk to everyone get every opportunity we can before we start talking to people about officials have you put any thought into when you maybe want to make a decision down the line? Uh, currently, we're going to take our March and April, uh, maybe shrink the list down a little bit, then talk about what schools really stuck out to us, you know, what really made an impact on me. Uh, take officials, and then the goal is to be committed somewhere before I play a snap senior year. What's it, uh, 